Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Productronica 2019 in Munich and I'm on the Scoop Studio with Matthias from Mtech. Matthias, always great to see you. Always lots going on with, uh, with you guys. And I feel you've got your finger on the pulse on some of the key trends in the um, digital enablement of manufacturing. Tell me what you're seeing going on and tell me the kind of projects you're working on and the products you're bringing to market. Yeah, so basically since we met last time, uh, last Productronica, uh, we've had tremendous development. Um, we are now launching several applications, one for through all assembly, uh, which allows for full digitalized uh, process. Uh, we're able to, to have full analytics and full reaction on it. So real, real closed loop machine learning yeah. and, and uh, with uh, a lot of AI, uh, of course, with uh, uh, full SPC, we can actually create understanding of what happens in the processes now in a, in a way that we weren't able to do before. So. Yeah. And that's, for me, that's really interesting. And when I look at the digitization of, of electronic manufacturing, I guess we started with the SMT line, but the SMT line's very consistent, very predictable and we know how it all works so it was really a question of getting every machine connected getting it talking to the host and then building value on top this is more about the processes that were discrete were done by people you had paper instructions were very analog and actually moving them through the digital revolution how's that process going really good we have one of our, our, our key projects uh, we managed to reduce uh, the lead time by 90 percent the fully digitalized process with full traceability, full single piece flow, and at the same time uh, helping the operators to, for, for a much better workplace. Um, what we see happening now is that in the market, most machines are connected, as you say. They are connected, they are streaming information. But from information to analytics and actually reactions, we're seeing that happening now. And we are preparing, we are, uh, are capable of connecting any type of machine, not just our robots, but any type of PLC, any type of SMT machine. So this is, a, it's happening now. It's yeah. not what will happen, it's actually happening. So yeah. It's a big va value add. So when I look at it in, in terms of engagement, say I'm a small, medium-sized contract manufacturer with a high mix, I've got my SMT line buttoned down, but I've got a whole lot of di discrete processes on the end. How do I engage with you? What would your offering be? Is it consultative? Is it hardware? Is it software? Is it all of the above? It's partly consultative but we're moving away from that totally so it's licensing on the software side uh, with our proxies and the communicators that we have that allows us to actually talk back to the process uh, we have our uh, software suite which we can go uh, step by step uh, it's very modular it's like a puzzle basically so we create we look from the use case of what we want to achieve so having a dashboard is, is the simplest thing in the world but actually to have a reaction to, to highlight for the operators what what would the next a probable error be and we're able to do that now so yeah. so yeah. and in terms of hardware what is what does the hardware offering currently look like uh, what we do in the hardware side uh, as you might know we've been invested by ABB uh, so we're focusing on, on their their robots currently we're, we're robot agnostic we're machine agnostic uh, but from the perspective of what their capabilities are they're the best for us in the market right now for the robot side uh, then we have possibilities for for additional flow setup setting up work workflows we can uh, simulate them virtually as well as, as physically yeah. as well so okay. and you know being robot agnostic ABB is still a natural choice they've been making robots for a little while haven't they so so they're pretty good at it what I'm starting to see in the um, in the industry is is the way this kind of solution is provided to the user and, and kind of this shifting from the um, cap the capex investment to the PL. are you involved in that kind of equipment as a service trend oh yes we are uh, one of the key things now in, in is the IFRS 16 the new accounting rules that actually puts a hinder towards the traditional leasing so you have to design your business from start in order to enable you to deliver it as a service over time we do capex we do this uh, traditional way as well Usually the customers are not used to buy things according to as-a-service model on, on their jobs, but privately they consume things as-a-service every day. So, and we're getting there, we're moving there faster than we would actually believe. So. Yeah. And that's an interesting part of the trend of digital transformation. The other area I'm seeing which is really interesting is where the data is not just used in manufacturing, it's used upstream and downstream. So the idea of 
connecting supply chains, accelerating procurement, um, all those kind of things is, is really valuable to an EMS company. Yes, yes. I think also what we're going to see is that we're going to see insurance companies coming in doing risk assessments on actual forecast, on actual uh, process performance, being able to price products according to, to the risk levels. Uh, we're going to see a, a completely new business models uh, uh, happening based on this as well. We get visibility in the supply chain, we're able to, to plan it and distribute information at point of use at the second where you're using it. So, uh... And it's interesting, I think, when I look at the trend, and we've been talking about this at several product Tronica, so Industry 4.0 is, is not a new phenomenon, but we started with disruption. I think we went through confusion. Now we're at clarity and action, and that's really exciting. Isn't that, it? that is very, that's a good, good way to put it. And I think what is happening now is that the technology has matured, uh, people are maturing, uh, the business models are maturing, and we actually start to see that, okay, now we have, we have data lakes that are flooded, but what do we actually do with the information? How can we create valuable and value-providing uh, analytics and, and reactions to it? So, yeah. Yeah, and it's taking data, creating intelligence, and making better, faster decisions. That's the key. Matthias, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for elaborating on all the developments in your business. Good luck with those, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you. Thank you.